My journey as a software developer began with PHP using frameworks like Cake PHP and Laravel. These tools made it easy to build complex web applications quickly. Frameworks handled routing, database interactions, and templating, letting me focus on features users needed. My career grew as I moved from small websites to sophisticated platforms for clients. The real strength of PHP frameworks was rapid development. You could go from idea to prototype fast. The ecosystem was vast, with packages for almost anything, so I rarely built from scratch. This batteries-included approach was perfect for startups and small businesses needing speed to market. I could deliver fully functional products in weeks, not months. The learning curve was gentle and the community was always there for support. PHP's accessibility empowered developers to bring ideas to life without deep computer science backgrounds. I built e-commerce sites, content management systems, and business tools. Each project boosted my confidence and led to bigger opportunities. The frameworks managed complexity so I could focus on business logic and deliver value. For a long time, PHP felt like all I'd ever need, a reliable, powerful tool with a mature ecosystem. The community was supportive and the results were tangible. It was a great time to be a PHP developer. As my projects grew, I started to see the cracks in PHP's approach. Most applications were monoliths, simple at first, but tangled and hard to maintain as they grew. Small changes could have big unintended consequences. Deployments became risky, and performance suffered under heavy load. Throwing hardware at the problem was expensive and only a temporary fix. PHP's single-threaded model was a bottleneck we couldn't engineer around. Containerization with Docker felt awkward, adding complexity to deployments. Scaling was inefficient, we had to scale the whole app just to support one struggling component. Server costs rose and management became a headache. The patterns that once worked were now holding us back. We needed a new approach for scalable, resilient systems. The turning point came with a project processing large COVID-19 datasets in real time. Our PHP stack couldn't handle the load. Scripts crashed, memory spiked, and performance tanked. I started researching alternatives and discovered Golang or GoGo Go, was built for scalable, high-performance network services, exactly what we needed. It's compiled, fast, and has built-in concurrency. Go's simplicity and clarity were a refreshing change from complex frameworks. It compiles to a single binary making deployment in containers effortless. I dove into Go, learning through tutorials and small projects. The learning curve was real, I had to rethink types and memory management, but Go's simplicity made me productive quickly. It felt like a tool built for modern, distributed systems and cloud computing. Go offered the performance and architecture we needed. It was the clear path forward for my career. I was ready for the next level. Adopting Go meant rethinking my entire approach to engineering. In PHP, frameworks made many decisions for you. In Go, you own the architecture. The COVID-19 data project was my first real-world Go test. We rebuilt the pipeline using Go's concurrency. Go routines and channels processed data streams in parallel. What took PHP over an hour now finished in under two minutes with Go, using far less memory and CPU. We designed the system as independent microservices, each a small Go binary in its own Docker container. If one service failed, the rest kept running. We could scale each service independently making the system efficient and resilient. I learned new design patterns for concurrency and distributed systems. It was challenging, but rewarding. I was designing systems, not just writing code. Go forced me to think at a higher level of abstraction. I was building not just applications, but robust, scalable architectures. The results spoke for themselves. Moving from PHP to Go transformed my career. Suddenly, I was in demand for high-performance cloud-native systems. The work was more interesting and challenging and my earning potential grew. This journey taught me the value of adaptability and continuous learning. Technology changes fast, being willing to learn new tools is essential. My advice, start small, pick a project that fits the new technology, and embrace being a beginner. The struggle pays off, making you a more versatile engineer. My journey was about more than changing languages, it was about growth. Go gave me the performance and simplicity to tackle bigger challenges. The willingness to learn and adapt is the most valuable skill of all. That's the key to a long, rewarding career in tech.